啦啦。Hello, peeps, and welcome back to Animal Crossing: New Horizons.、Oh, welcome back to Peepsville. Um, what's it like outside? It's, it's overcast. <laughs> Do you know the rain yesterday did not stop in Peepsville? Um, let's. Oh, oh. Well, this helps. This makes me feel a bit better. It wasn't just raining in Peepsville yesterday. It was absolutely torrential. And pitch black dark、um, all day, <laughs> because I know this because I was able to actually、uh, get a bit of time、um, uh, to work on things in the evening in Peepsville,、uh, which was really great. So there has been some progression since yesterday's episode.、Um, so pretty pleased about that. So now you can have a look at see what's been going on so far. We need to move Bunny's house today. We need to get the order in for that. Um, that's definitely a thing.、Um, oh, do you know what we、uh, should also do? I think I would quite like to go through、um, these nook miles. It's been a while, isn't it? What have we got? What do we have?、Uh, oh, furniture freshener. What's this? Give your furniture that personal touch, and you can unlock miles. Oh, I've clearly been doing some of that. God, I've done over a hundred items. That's ridiculous. So two hundred is is the next right fossil assessment. Um, yes, yes.、Uh, you're getting nook miles based on the number of fossils you've assessed. <gasps> We've done over three hundred. So next is five hundred. Blimey, what's this?、Uh, go ahead. Be shellfish. <laughs> you can earn nook miles based on the number of shell、uh, seashells you sell. Oh、uh, yeah, well, of course that's been going up because、um, the summer seashells. I've been、uh, collecting those, so I've been collecting a lot of shells and then selling them.、Um, so that's good. Although I really should have done more than I have,、uh, but there we are. It's、uh, time constraints.、Uh, trash fishing. Um, oh look! It looks like we've completed this one. You work extra hard to keep our island clean, even going so far as to fish up trash out of our lovely waters. So you're getting some nook miles for keeping the island extra tidy. Yes, yes. So who is dumping all the tires and old cans and that into our rivers? Because surely it wouldn't have been like that before we arrived.、Uh, reaction ruler, you learned a reaction. Let's celebrate this momentous occasion with nook miles.、Hmm? Uh, reactions help you express yourself, so it's a good idea to learn them. Whoa! So what is solo comedian? <laughs> so forty-two. There's forty-two reactions. That is the magic number, isn't it?、Um, cornering the stalk market. <gasps> have we completed this one now? The powers that be have been tracking your turnip transactions,、uh, and let's just say you've harvested your share of profits. Over ten million. <laughs> <laughs> We've harvested over ten million. Ooh,、uh, a popular pen pal.、Uh, I'll reward you with miles if you send a lot of letters. Uh, keep, uh, please keep sending letters to everyone and continuing to deepen friendships. Yes, yes. Look, we've sent over a hundred. Is it? Yeah. Okay, working our way to two hundred. This is going well. Birthday celebration. Celebrating the birthday of a fellow resident is a wonderful thing. <gasps> Yay! We we celebrated one. The next one's ten, ten. Oh, okay. Got、uh, got a, a lot、uh, a lot of birthdays to attend. Right. Well, anyway, there's that done. Pleased that we did that. Um. Yeah. So when I step out of the house today, it's going to be a bit barren. It's a new location. It's a bit weird, to be honest with you. It's all a bit weird. Um, and it's going to take time to get it all sorted out because, of course, I don't know where I want to move all the houses to at the moment. I don't know where we're going to.、Um, I don't have Bunny's permanent location, so we're just going to move it out of the way. Unfortunately,、um, I guess we will get ready for the day. Well, here it is. <laughs> it's a little bit weird coming out here at the moment. I've got a couple of frogs behind the house. But、um, 
we're definitely going to need to hide more I think around this area and you can see I've built this up a little bit I think I'm going to want this a little bit bigger they are straight lines at the moment things are straight lines at the moment um, just because I'm going for basic uh, size and shape at the moment but uh, we will mix things up and not make everything so square when um, we're happy with with what's going on but the idea is that I'm going to have a garden um, here um, and we need to work on this waterfall so it's a bit more interesting um, and I want to start building it up on this side a bit as well um, but I'm just not entirely sure how big this lake's going to be at the moment it might actually be a little bit smaller as you can see all this is now empty um, so that I can start pulling back the land um, still don't know what to do with all this <laughs> Um, because uh, I've been working a little bit on the museum trying to to see the things that's been in my head try to make it work we're starting to get somewhere with that so I'll show you that shortly um, but it doesn't really leave a lot of room for displays so I'm going to have to give that some thought uh, oh what do we have here uh, let's see let's uh, oh uh, my uh, <laughs> <laughs> my controller is low I'm gonna sort that out in one moment um, the idea is um, that I will have a path coming down here a main um, sort of a main road so this house will have to move I'm not entirely sure at the moment where the um, the incline will be if it's going to be right here or if it's going to be somewhere over there I, I, I'm not entirely sure yet because I don't actually know what I'm gonna do with that land up there just at the moment I haven't quite worked that out. Um, I'm just working on bits that I know um, at the moment. Just working on bits that I know. The plants have indeed gone nuts. It's been days and days of rain here in Peace. And it looks like we're going to get rain again shortly. Um, and the flowers are just out of control. I can't keep on top of it. It's too much. But I'll tell you what the good news is. Look at these red flowers here. Look, we've even got some more here. These look like reds, don't they? Look, let's... Now, the glory about these particular red roses um, is these red roses um, are the types that can spawn blues. Yes, they are. So, we are going to grab these. A lack of soul. Um, ooh. That's uh, lovely. Thank you very much. Uh, shove it in there um now do i want to replace these ones possibly not just so that i know exactly uh, what i'm dealing with here so let's 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 have a think in fact let's just go and stick them in my area maybe for now Draco. um we might just do that so let's see and we'll uh We'll do them in the uh, in the old crisscross thing for now. But I think they're probably going to get rained on shortly, aren't they? <laughs> so yeah, there we are. They should. That those those ones. I'm pretty sure are able to produce blues, uh, which is great. Uh, it's still a very low chance, but hey, I'll take it. Um, ooh. Let's uh, dig this up. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, right. So let's go and see this museum. Oh, and actually, while we're here, let's grab this. Lovely. Might as well, eh? Might as well. Right. So if we go up here, um, I, both these houses need to move. But look what I've been sorting out here. So this is the sort of idea that I had for my museum. Um, so this pathway, I've actually um, replaced um, some of my stone pathways with this dirt one. Uh, when I went to my friend Prem de la Creme's island uh, the other day, he had this pathway and I loved it. So I had to have it um, because I was in the process of thinking that actually I, I probably do want to change to dirt um, roads and what I was probably going to do was use the dirt, this sort of dirt 
um, and then place bits and bobs on top of it because of course when we do this we can't place stuff on it you know like leaves or flowers or whatever really you know weeds whatever um, which you can on this one so um, but I think I like this so much that I think I might go for this sort of thing and we'll see how it goes see how it goes but yeah so um just it's sort of giving a, a, a slight idea um and it's possible that these peach trees will move forwards a little bit so that i can have a path coming off here and inset inside a built-up area will probably be um the house uh for the museum where blathers and that will live probably somewhere through here through a nestle little area um and look you can see up here i've decorated this bit of uh, land oh I think I had somebody come out of their house I swear I heard a door go um yeah uh, so I've been decorating this bit of land up here so we can get an idea of what it's looking like uh, which is nice uh round here this will probably be move forwards uh, not move forwards but uh, extended forwards as well to be honest um uh the we still haven't put stuff back on the the beach because we still haven't seen red um, we've got the Libra scales. Somebody sent that in and they are now here. Um, oh. It's difficult to see them, but they are there. Um, maybe I should swap this round so the desk is up here so that we can see it. Don't know. Don't know. Uh, I don't like the homework thing. Uh, I want to change that up uh to some other writing implements similar to i think what you peeps sent in for the blathers thing so yeah it's changed like what's in front of his door but i'm okay with that that's this is absolutely fine i think it's going to be more natural uh, oh <laughs> they've been singing that tune that's in the town square more and more uh which is fantastic um and it's also look replace this um I, I, I just I think I prefer it. It's going to be better for the overall um, look and feel that I'm going for with this island ultimately. Um, what is... Just doing a tour of the island. It's always important, I think, to do a tour of the island. Uh, oh! Is that an eel? And we should uh, probably also look at opening the mail. Plop! Oh. Oh. I oh, got it! Yes! We got ourselves an eel! It's nice to do a tour of the island. <laughs> Plus, uh, oh! Oh, look, we've, we've missed that one. Um, where's our bottle? Our DIY in a bottle. Who knows? honestly who knows don't know oh look there's another fossil let's grab that excellent okay well should we go and see the old area where my house was just while i complete the tour of the island oh excellent thank you very much nobody the town square. I hear another balloon. There it is. Should we grab it? Let's grab the balloon. Nice. Where? Uh, there it is. What did we get? 10,000 balloons. Excellent. Also, let's put the order in, actually. I think I'm going to move bunny to somewhere over here just stick her house over here somewhere um which means it'll probably instantly be in the way again soon but i, I don't I, I really don't know where else to put it do you know what i mean um i really don't know where else to put it uh let's let's grab that let's get her moving kit because then tomorrow we can maybe do a little bit more on the museum although we have to move spike's house as well nightmare hello mr nurk hello yes um infrastructure please yes um layout changes yeah um an island home uh bunny bunny 
Can we go? Yeah. Oh, this one's 50,000. It's my house. It's just my house that's cheaper, is it? Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. <laughs> it's so expensive, isn't it? I'm going to have to keep doing it. Um... Okay. Excellent. She's up for it. That's great. Okay, I'm not sure about that pose. <laughs> really not sure about it. Oh. Excellent. So, that's the fee. And I've got the moving kit. Excellent. Bunny's kit. <laughs> Bunny's kit. <laughs> so we can now move Bunny's house. Maybe I could put Bunny's house where my house was. <laughs> That's out of the way, isn't it? Maybe we just stick it here. Oh, it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. Okay, let's do this. Build here. That's a smaller house. Oh my god, look. Punchy's just amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think... I think... Uh, actually... actually it's possible. If I clean up this area, I might be able to get Spike's house here as well. I like that. Hey, hey, Punchy. Uh, yeah, it is. What's the latest? Uh, I overslept a little today, but that's cool. It gave the bugs in my home uh, some extra quiet time. Lovely, Punchy. That's absolutely lovely. Look what we have here. A perfect place for those 10,000 bells um, that we found. Right. Boom. Excellent. Let's stick them in here. So, uh, what I would like to do, I think, um, first of all today is, uh, yeah, clear out this area a bit so that we can get both Spike and Bunny's house here. There we go. Bunny's house is moved. And I've measured it. I'm pretty sure there's enough uh, space here for Spike's house as well. So um, that's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Um, meaning that we'll be able to uh, sort out the museum area more and more as time goes by. Uh, picked up a few of the bits that were by my house. Um, I don't really know what to do with them. Uh, I mean, we'll put... I guess we'll, we will pop them here for now. We'll stick that there. And, um... Uh, do you know what? We'll, ju we'll just bring them down here because I think I'm going to want to work on the waterfall area today. Let's pop this away. Um, definitely going to want that. And this is the birdhouse. There we go. Excellent. Good. Yeah, I'd like to work on this waterfall area today because that waterfall is pretty boring. And uh, see what we can do with it. We might have to move some of these uh, trees. Um, but yeah, that's uh, ultimately uh, my plan uh, today, I think. Um, who's visiting, though, today? <gasps> it's Flick! It's Flick, everybody. Hello. Uh oh. Hello. <gasps> Remember me, Flick? Yeah, you don't come here very often. Uh, a bit like Red, really. But it's great to see you. Oh, don't, let's not get upset. Right, okay. So I've got bugs to sell. Uh, I've got more back at the house as well. <gasps> I have got more back at the house. Um, let's sell those. Well, steady. I don't know about that. It's going to slow me down today with uh, doing um, stuff because, of course, when I see a bug, I'm going to want to catch it and give it to Flick. <laughs> uh, you should totally enter. You'll be able to feel the energy of summer bugs in your very skin. <gasps> He's talking about the bug off. We're going to be there. We are so going to be there. This Saturday, we're going to have an episode of Animal Crossing. Can you believe it? Um, uh, but we are all these bugs let's, uh, let's let's focus on getting the bugs out of my house and also getting a bug commissioned <coughs> yes I think what I'm going to do is um, hang on T 
Tell me about your art. Yeah. I'd like to get a commission on the Atlas moth today. And then I think um, I'm going to give um, Zeke and Tilly some other insects to get commissioned. Um, that'll be cool. And then I can get three in one go. Um, and then... Of course, I'm going to be creating more characters um, to build other houses, and then I'll be able to get more and more commissioned each time. Uh, but I do have uh, some more to sell. But this is, I think, now all the bugs that I'm uh, I have to sell. There you go. Hardly. Thank you very much. So we've done all right here. That'll do for now. Not too shabby. I will let you know if I catch any more. Don't you worry. Um, okay, Agnes, if I could just pop through here. Excellent. I'm going to drop off some of these doubloons. With the doubloons dropped off, it was time to get to work on the landscaping. Um, so when starting, I wasn't sure if I wanted the lake to um, be a river lake or a pond lake. Um, ultimately because I wasn't sure whether I wanted a waterfall or waterfalls coming in or not. I find waterfalls very noisy um, and not that appealing because of it and I'm very keen for this uh, sort of little nature spot around my house um, to have the trickling water sounds rather than the gushing roar of, of waterfalls. Um, but I thought at the beginning well I'll build some waterfalls uh, into the area um, and listen to it and see how I feel about it. So that's exactly what I did. Um, and I didn't want one big waterfall. I did build um, a sort of a nestle um, of, of smaller ones. Um, I thought that might help with the sound a bit. It's also a bit prettier to look at. Um, so worked out uh, a way of perhaps having like a little cluster of um, babby waterfalls um and and thought i would check them out see what it was uh see what it was like listen to it for a bit um stood around and <laughs> just listened to see um you know how noisy it really was and if it was going to be too much um for me really I decided in the end I didn't like the waterfalls, <laughs> um, which meant that the rivers that were running into it and through it were going to have to be redirected. Um, and the first step towards that I felt was best to just clear out all those fish and take them to the museum. Um, starting with the, the lower two rivers, um, I decided to, because there's a lot of stuff down uh, this part of the island, so I very roughly um, chipped out the path of where I thought uh, the redirected river could go once we start clearing stuff out down here, just sort of to give me a, a rough idea of, of the direction that it might head in. And you can see that it, it's given me uh, a lot of extra space um, above um, to extend the lake um, you know it's, it's clearing it pretty well um, so I was happy with uh, the bottom lake um, but I also needed to redirect the top lake um, that's coming down from the campsite and I decided to redirect that river through the pond that's behind Punch's house um, in order to do that, I needed to raise a lot of land um, to bring it closer. I wanted the waterfall to come right up to where the, that pond is. Um, so, yeah, raised a lot of land, um, which I'm all for. Uh, I'm very keen with my, um, uh, as I'm landscaping the island, I'm very keen to raise land in a lot of areas. Um, I want a lot of interest in land going up and down around the island. So this just sort of works in my favour, really, needing to raise all this land up. Um, and then it would, it would allow me to start uh, chipping the river past the top of where the lake is and towards the new pond area. See there? So we've got um, a, new, a new waterfall uh, to one 
outside, which is uh, quite nice. And it means that um, it, it uh, we can get rid of the waterfalls going into um, the what was the river lake and is now slowly becoming a big pond lake. You know, it'll have pond fish in it. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Um, and it's nicer to remove these because they're just so noisy. They are just so noisy. Um, I could then connect up uh, the waterfall to the pond and then the pond to the river so that that was successfully redirected. Um, so now we've got uh, even more water behind Punchy's house. He's sort of almost sitting on an island at this point. Um, so yeah, that was, that was nice. Um, with me now committing to um, the lake being... Um, quiet and more isolated um, than I initially planned. It meant that I could raise the land even more um, around the lake. I thought it would be nice to give it more of a lagoon feeling that way. Um, really, really isolated. Um, I planted uh, a couple of trees really quick, um, just in a couple of places to give me an idea of what the area might start to look like when it's done. Um, and if I was happy with that really, you know. Um, while the lake isn't finished by any means, there's still a lot of straight edges and I'm still not sure if it's gonna be bigger or smaller or whatever. Um, I toyed around with the idea of if it was a bigger lake, adding some interest to it so it's not just an empty area of lake um, and thought I might add um, a couple of small islands um, to the center of the, the lake so that yeah there is a bit of interest as I'm thinking about um, making a, a nice viewing spot um, uh, on the south side of the lake looking up uh, to, to the north of it um, and so having a bit of interest to look at there would be would be nice so playing around with that idea um, so then I started playing around with you know am I going to be extending my garden a little bit further so I've got more room for junk inside my garden because I've got a few ideas of things I'd like to put in there and I felt it needed a bit more space but at the same time I'm aware that I've got a path I would like to run down the side of the house which I don't want to be straight um, so I need to make sure there's plenty of room for that and that it's not going to be perfectly straight um, and on the south side of uh, where my garden's going to be is where I'm moving the nook store to and it isn't quite fitting as I want it to at the moment I mean it looks like there that it's fitting perfectly um, but it's not because I actually want the nook store to be quite isolated again in its own little area um, which means that uh, a portion of this river that I have redirected simply isn't going to work um, so I, I remove that and it's going to have to be more um, sort of redirected through where Tilly's house currently is so for now I've just removed it um, knowing where I sort of roughly plan to put it uh, so that I can start just to get a, just so I can get a, a feel of um, the isolated nature of uh, the little nook that I'm going to be putting the nook store into that I mean that's the idea it's going to be in a nook but I'm also aware that um, I want another house near the nook store um, and the lake at the moment is very much in the way of that um, so that's <laughs> That's a little bit um, problematic, so I need to give it some thought. I'm standing there thinking, you know, what am I going to do with this? Um, don't know. Uh, I will figure it out over time, I think. I think we're going to stop here. I know it doesn't look like much at the moment, but, um, you know, carving stuff out. Um, bit by bit, uh, I'll get there. I'm just trying to get a rough idea of sizes of where things are going to go and whatnot. Um, but yeah, uh, it's definitely nice to hear, I think, if we let the radio kick in and the music stops. It's nice. Um, so it means that I can have a break from the in-game music, which is just so very, very nice. And I love the trickling water sounds that are happening here. Um, so while this isn't set in stone, we've got a, a rough idea of what's going on here. Um, and garden space uh, for me. Um, bearing in mind that Tom Nooks is going to probably be on the other side of this wall. Um, so I need to make sure that my garden is definitely big enough. Um, I think I think I'm happy with the size. Um, 
It's, it's a fairly good size. Um, yeah, so this house here, which is Pecan's house, we'll have to move at some point. Um, but not just yet. I think we're going to um, focus on continuing to clear out the uh, museum area. Because um, I, I want to do something like this over there. Um, so I need to move these uh, few bits out. Um, yeah, and it will start giving us an idea of how to finish off this this lake here. And I think this lake will come out here a little bit. Not sure yet, not sure. Uh, we'll build it over time, but we're getting there. So, um, before we finish, I think we probably should have a look at the mail uh, to see what has arrived, because we do have a few bits. Let's see here. Uh, mind you, my inventory is very, very full. Okay, I'm going to clear that out, and then we'll take a look at the post. Okay, hopefully I've got enough space now. Let's have a, oops, let's have a look here then. What have we, what have we got? Oh, there's all sorts here. Look. Okay, so um, a couple uh, more here from Caroline. What do we have? Oh, more umbrellas. Um, uh, it's the perfect weather for all of this right now. <laughs> I hope you like this. I made this especially for you. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. Um, what was this? I hope you like this as I made it just for you. Oh, that'll be interesting. Then from Graham here, who needs a modern mobile when you can use this? Think Blathers will enjoy. I think it also looks like a face. What do you think? Interesting. Oh, that's very interesting. We should check that out. Um, surely, um, I believe, did say in the Discord that uh, they'd be sending in more uh, Edgar Wright quotes. So what have we got here? Nothing suggested in the last three minutes has been better than Smashy Smashy Eggman. I may need to switch franchise or director soon. Enjoy the dress. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you so much. And what have we got here? And maybe they have selective uh, memories. Yeah. Like, what's his name? Me. I'm not sure I know that one. I'm not sure I know that quote. Um, Olivia. Oh. Oh. I, I wonder what that is. And then from Sam May, am I a cat? Maybe, Sam. Maybe. Look, Henry has sent us another letter. I always get nervous when Henry writes because he tends to be a little bit creepy. Uh, you want to know how to write a great letter to a friend? Just be straightforward. Tell them all the things you like about them. Uh, that would be too awkward to say in real life. You're welcome. Mm. <laughs> I'm not sure if I agree with his methods. Uh, just wanted to thank you for flying Dodo Airlines. <gasps> We've got some new Dodo Airlines merch. <gasps> well, we have to check all these goodies out for sure. Check out these Dodo Airlines sunglasses. Aren't they amazing? <gasps> I think I think they're pretty amazing. And we've got some nice items here. I like this hat. I do like this hat. Um, we've got a new simple panel, one with a black frame. Uh, the antique phone. Blathers will definitely be having an antique phone. I like this as well. This clock is cool. I didn't know this clock existed. Caroline also um, did craft me some lovely items, which I've not placed here because they are actually spoilers. They are for seasons that we haven't got to yet, um, and they're a bit spoilery. So um, I've hidden those away to uh, not spoil it for anybody else. But they are lovely items, um, and I will uh, definitely uh, be using them in the future. So they are safe within my inventory. Thank you for the items, everybody. They are so lovely. We've done lots uh, today. It may not feel like it in the episode, um, but I have been here um, for many hours um, uh, doing what I've done to the land. It's still very messy out there. It probably will be messy out there. Um, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to take these off a minute. <laughs> There we go. Um, it probably will be messy out there for quite a while. Um, as we slowly carve away the land uh, and sculpt it into something uh, that I'm that I'm really after. Um, and uh, I like the progress so far. Um, but I can imagine for anybody who can't see what's in my head, they're probably thinking, what the blinking hell is going on? <laughs> but trust me, I'm sure it'll be it'll be fine. It'll be fine. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you to all my Patreons for their continued support.